and welcome back to Attorney Paz's Rants of a Criminal Defense Attorney. This week I want to talk about something exciting I have going on in um, my caseload. I have the resentencing of Jason Cassiano uh, tomorrow. Uh, Jason was convicted uh, via plea in 1997 for a um, felony murder, so it was a robbery gone bad in the New Haven Judicial District. And as a 16-year-old pleaded guilty as an adult on a plea to 50 years incarceration, which is a lot um, on a plea. Um, nowadays, we really don't see these these high numbers via pleas, and there's a lot of reasons for that. But um, Jason, for the last 25 years, has been fighting uh, his not his conviction, but his sentence. So he doesn't dispute that he did this. Um, and he doesn't want a trial, he wants a resentencing. And the reason is because he was 16 at the time of his offense and there has been new case law uh, following the Supreme Court's decisions in Miller and Graham about um, the, uh, the mental uh, and brain development of children um, under the age of 18. So um, in Connecticut, there has been a couple of reforms uh, in juvenile law, mostly giving juveniles the right to, uh, to parole hearings, we, whereas an adult that was sentenced for murder and felony murder would not be eligible for parole. You'd have to serve day for day. Um, but now they are, in fact, eligible for parole. In Jason's circumstance, he filed a couple of habeas petitions, and he got a, um, a stipulated judgment overturning his sentence and entitling him to a resentencing. So tomorrow uh, we are going forward with an actual resentencing for a juvenile that was convicted of felony murder um, in 1997. He's been incarcerated for 25 years. Um, since then, he has done amazing things with his life. He's been involved with um, other young offenders uh, to try to turn their life around. He's gotten his um, high school diploma. He has uh, almost has his associate's degree and is going towards a bachelor's degree. Um, and he does this all um, via correspondence courses that are not offered at the facility, but he seeks out um, these these opportunities to better himself. Um, and it, all in all, just an amazing transformation. Um, so I'll keep you posted as to what the judge does tomorrow. Um, the sentence, original sentence was 50 years. We're arguing that a fair sentence would be somewhere in the realm of 30 to 35, uh, just given the analysis of sentencing for similar types of offenses in Connecticut over the last 20 years. And, um, you know, we just think that obviously, you know, the victim's family is upset um, and any victim's family will always um, feel this loss and you're never going to get your loved one back. And, and but justice is a determination and a balance of the equities. Um, it's not just punishment. It is rehabilitation and potential for rehabilitation and just desserts considering the person's age at the time and level of culpability. So all of these things are going to be brought out tomorrow, and I'm so excited to see what the result is. So I will keep you posted, and if you have any questions about that, feel free to email me, Brittany at RomaineAttorneys.com, and as always, take care, don't get arrested, and see you soon.